In this video, we are going to learn two things. Firstly, we are going to learn about the newly released OpenAI feature for function calling. And secondly, we are going to code a simple bot using Langchain and OpenAI API. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we jump into the video, I want to remind you to please subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoy this video, just click on the like button. All right, let's get started. So OpenAI has fine tuned the GPT-4 and the GPT-3.5 Turbo 0613 models to be able to detect when a function needs to be called and return back to the calling program with a JSON object of the function signature. All right, now we move into taking a look at the mechanics of how this works. First thing, we need to let the GPT model know our function definition so that the GPT models know in the future how to intelligently output a JSON object containing the inferred arguments based on the user query. And this is really huge because it'll allow all of us, all the developers actually, to reliably connect our LLM apps to external and custom APIs and tools. I mean, the sky is the limit. The operative word over here being reliable because with this approach, we require less trial and error with prompts and it also leads to better tool selection because the model has been fine-tuned for function calling. Once we get the inferred function name and the inferred arguments back from the GPT model into our bot, we run the tool with the arguments that the GPT model has inferred. And finally, we predict the final response. And in order to do that, we send the user query, uh, the inferred function name and arguments and the function message. And the results from the tool will be passed to the function message. So what happens here is that the GPT model then responds back in natural language with a final response. Okay, now it's time to jump into the code. Let's jump into the code. In this notebook, we are going to explore the function calling feature by building a simple weather bot to provide us with the current weather conditions. First things first, let's look at how it is that OpenAI is expecting us to describe our functions. And here is how it is expecting us to describe our functions. This is a list of functions. In this case, we just have one function listed over here, but you can have multiple functions listed in the function definition. So it is expecting a name, it is expecting description, and it is expecting the uh, different parameters for our function. In this case, the parameters are location and unit. Also need to make sure you have the latest version of Langchain in installed because that has the support for function calling feature. Next, we import our dependencies some of the usual suspects over here, OpenAI, chat OpenAI, agent type, initialize agent, tool, um, base tool, base model, JSON. Uh, one thing to note over here is this format tool to OpenAI function is something new that has been introduced in langchain.tools in order to convert our tool into the format that we previously looked at. We are also importing human message, AI message, chat message, and function message. This is also a new thing. I am going to run the cell. Great, now that our dependencies have been imported, we can move on to setting up some of the environment variables. Here in this case, we need to import the OpenAI key, and we are also setting the model name to be GPT-3.5-Turbo. Dash 0613 because uh, this is the model that uh, is supporting function calling feature. Obviously, GPT-4 also supports the function calling feature. Our weather bot needs to be able to figure out the weather somehow. So we're going to need a function. And in that function, we can call an API such as the PI OWM, Open Weather Maps API, to get the current weather. In this case, I'm going to write a function which is taking parameters, location, and the units in which we want the response back in. It's going to return a dictionary 
with information about the weather. Over here, I'm mocking up the data, but in reality, we could extend this to actually call the PyOWM library to get the current weather. Let's run the cell. And let's also quickly test the function to make sure it works, which we can see that it does. Next, we are going to create a custom tool based on the function that we just wrote. We define a class called getCurrentWeatherCheckInputClass, which will allow us to tell the LLM model what to give us back. And this class we will pass as the argument schema to the tool that we build out. We'll call our tool getCurrentWeatherTool. And the name that we will give it is the name of our function, which is the get current weather function that we previously wrote. We'll provide it a description and we'll run the cell. The next step for us is going to be creating a list of tools that we'll use later on. And we also need to convert the tools into the format that OpenAI is expecting. And the way we do that is using the format tool to OpenAI function be imported from langchain.tools uh, when we imported our dependencies. So let's run the cell and examine what the first element of tools looks like as well as function list looks like. We see our function get current weather in there with its description and the two parameters that we have defined for it, which is the location as well as the unit. Okay. Now we've done all the hard work of setting up the tools and the functions. Our next step is to call the model with the user query so that it can return back to us the name of the function and the inferred arguments for that function. On the model, we will call predict underscore messages. We'll pass the human message as well as the list of functions. What we get back is an AI message response back. And if you see over here, we see the additional keyword args as function call, and it gives us the name of the function. In addition, it gives us the location as New York and the unit as Celsius. We can also check the type of the response that we just got back. It says langchain.schema.ai message. Here we examine the additional keyword args for function call and we can see it's giving us the name of the function get current weather as well as the arguments location New York and unit as Celsius. We'll now extract the arguments so that in the next step we can run the tool with the arguments and running the tools with the argument will invoke our function get current weather. So you see it's returned the current weather in New York as 78 degrees Celsius, sunny with a chance of meatballs. The only thing that's really left to do right now is to get a final response from the model. And the way to do that is to call predict messages again, along with the human message, the response AI message from before, as well as the function message where we pass it the function name and the results of the tools. We also send it the list of functions. When we run it, we will get the final response back in natural language. So if you see the content of this message, it says the temperature in NYC currently is 78 degrees Celsius. The weather forecast is sunny with a chance of meatballs. If we wanted a simpler implementation, we could use agents. And the only thing to remember while using agents is to make sure we set the agent type to be openAI underscore functions. So here we are setting the model and then we are initializing the agent. We pass it the tools, uh, the model, as well as we set the agent type as openAI underscore functions. Let's run the agent now. Here you see we get the same results and we did not even have to convert the tools to functions. Neither did we have to run the tool with the inferred arguments or even call the model for the final response. So this is a simpler way of doing it. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you again next time.